Hey fellas, what's going on? This is Bert Flaxen from Team Cyber Sniper. A lot of people have been asking me about my playing style and what my configs are. I just thought I'd give everyone a quick rundown of how I play. It all starts with the Cyber Sniper Telescope mouse. First off, it's got two DPI modes. You got 1000, you got 2400. And it's got six easily programmable buttons. This is how I get the most out of my mouse. First off, I'm starting with default settings, so the first thing you're going to change is your in-game sensitivity. For infantry, I use the red stealth mode, which is 1000 DPI, and my in-game sensitivity is at 0.3. If you're not used to playing at a low sensitivity, it'll take a while to get used to, but once you do, it'll give you the ability to be more precise with your movements and your shots. Now, of course, with lower sensitivity, you'll be having to move your mouse in larger increments, so you will need a large mouse pad. I use the CyberSniper Microfiber mouse mat. It's large and smooth for quick reactions. Now that we have the sensitivity taken care of, let's see how the rest of the config pans out. What I try to do when playing any game is make the most used controls easy to access. This is where it gets tricky. Weapon button 3 is your default gun, but it also changes your rate of fire. What I do is set my alternate fire, weapon number 3, to my thumb button. This allows me to change my rate of fire by just clicking my thumb instead of taking my fingers off the WAS setup and pressing the number 3 key. What I also do is I set my weapon button number 6 as my middle mouse click. This allows me to pull out my shock paddles and revive teammates in the middle of battle. Which leaves weapon button number 5, which is med packs, is going to be my uh, thumb button forward. And it lets me toggle back and forth between all those three really, really easily. Now let's see a little bit of that in action here as I play and land. Uh, notice how I quickly change rate of fire by using my thumb key and uh, hone in on the headshot here. Uh, I'm going to proceed up in the hotel flag and attempt to cap the flag and I quickly toggle back and forth from the map uh, to my gun and my med pack make sure I don't get hit while I'm running since you can't shoot while you're running uh, here somebody's about to spawn in here uh, I start to get hit with the med pack out here I low, go back in, change, change rate of fire back out, med pack out, gun back out no iron sight, there we go that's how it's done guys also, there's another little trick. Uh, since you have your shock paddle set at weapon button number 6 and your gun at 3, you can do a quick little trick for a quick revive. If you uh, go in and you switch back and forth from your shock paddles to your uh, gun really quick, you can pull out your shock paddles and they'll be charged. Watch here as Chop. I'll let y'all listen. Yes! So watch quick revives. Gun out, paddles out, didn't charge, quick revives. Now, you can customize your controls however you see fit. Once you get your cyber snap and telescope, anything is possible. The extreme DPI and 6 button config allow for a myriad of combinations to further your gameplay in any style. 